Paul Key, the title sponsor from Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks Good morning. for being here. Good morning. I looked at the uh, the uh, over uh, the amount of cash and prizes that we're talking about here. We are talking over half a million dollars, aren't we, Chad? Absolutely. And this is uh, the best of the best. It's yeah. the only the top 32 guys in the world. Okay, 32. Plus, well, okay. and then four local okay. Badland Circuit guys. But it's the best of the best riding. This is the largest payout. A guy can come in here in 30th in the world and leave here 10th. Wow. And, and then we only take the top 15 the NFR. And the cutoff date is September 30th to see who makes the NFR in December. So this is coming down to the nut cutting, and it's going to be. This is a right big there. deal. Yeah. This is a big deal. Okay, so this isn't something that just anybody can come to. You have to qualify to be in this particular rodeo. Correct? Absolutely, you have to qualify, and 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 we're bringing in. It's you know I want it to be more of a celebration than anything. You know we've got Navy SEALs coming in to do stuff there. Wow. We've got the MHA tribe bringing a make, put, setting up a village with dancers and singers and drummers and it's I mean we want people to come out all day and have a good time and it's going to be pretty special and it, you know and the who's who of who, um, cowboys are going to be hanging out in Mandan Bismarck area all weekend. Okay, I'll get back to you, Chad, with with some names. I looked online to see some of the names that are coming. It's a, this is a, this is the all star team basically yeah. that's going to be here. Dale, you guys. At Dakota Community Bank and Trust, and you in particular, have always been so involved with with these kind of events. Is that something that you grew up with, with rodeo and bull riding and things like that, or what was it that got that keeps you so involved in these things? Well, I grew up down with Valentine, Nebraska, yeah, and that's ranch, been there. ranch country, <laughs> and, yep. and you know, so been around it my whole life. You know, I never really rodeoed a lot myself. Sure. I just broke horses, but uh, <clears throat> you know, it's always been intriguing to me and I always say it's a the, the glamorous part of ranching yeah. and we're in the farm and ranch business big loaning money and stuff you know and working with farmers and ranchers so this is just just extended part of it you know I have to ask you whether it's the Mandan Rodeo days or whether it's an event like this these things are taking place at a at an auditorium with your name on it Talk to me about the pride that it goes into that to see these kind of this caliber of of athlete coming in that we're going to see here at the end of September and they're and they're performing in your arena. Well, I'm I'm proud of mm -hmm. having that arena naturally. You know that it's, it's named after me. But uh, the thing about it is, is you know we we come over here in 1997 to Mandan, and I always said we we need to get a full time arena because yeah. they just set it up for the Fourth of July. And <clears throat> finally, we have one, and and it's a great deal, and it's a great deal for the Mandan Rodeo, and it's a great deal for this. And there's other people talking about coming in and having having uh, rodeo lessons that you they teach you how to sure. be involved in whatever rodeo sport you want to. But you know, really, a really key thing to me, an important thing to me, is almost every weekend there's some kind of a cowboy rodeo event going exactly. on. At, you might go over there on a Saturday or Sunday, and there'd be a hundred, hundred and fifty horse trailers sitting there, and yeah, something going that arena. There. So yeah. it's a good thing for the community. And what of all the things we do in the community, we do a lot. <clears throat> but the thing that I love about this is it brings people in from all over the mm -hmm. country exactly. to these events. You know, and like a friend of mine come up from Winter, South Dakota, for the Fourth of July rodeo, and he stayed at a hotel. And the other people staying at the hotel, there was this family staying there from New York State. They were in the dairy business in New York State, but they had their family reunion in Mandan. Sure. So they came to that deal, and the other day I was talking to somebody, some people from Georgia came up. and Yeah, it just brings did, people yeah. together from yeah, all across you know, you the bring country. A lot Chad, of people. we're almost, I'm sorry, Dale, we're almost yeah. out of time. Give me the dates, the times, and things like that as far as people wanting tickets yeah. if they want to attend this event. Yeah, it's uh, September 20, 21, 22, three days of action-packed rodeo with guys like Shad Mayfield, uh, Junior Nagato, all these world champions yep. you see, uh, Jess Pope. It's just every world champion that's in the business is going to be in Mandan. And it, uh, you go to ND Rough Rider Cup to get your tickets. It's uh, There's a lot of great tickets, and it's going to be the, the most awesome action-packed show that, that I've ever been involved yeah. with. I, I mean, it takes a lot for me to get nervous, and I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you don't have any experience yeah. in this. So if this one's got your guts churning a yeah, little this, bit, this it must just, be a big deal. To bring it to my hometown, yeah. you know, I, I tell everybody I was born in Manhattan, I'm going to die there, and I'm the fifth generation 
from this area that never, ever left. There you go. 6 o'clock Friday, 6 o'clock Saturday, 2 o'clock Sunday. Is that correct? 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6 and, 30, 2. 6 30, 6 30 and 2. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much. I appreciate your appreciate time. Appreciate it. Come on.